Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, for the recording, it's the April 18th Weekly Trader Vision 2020 User Workshop. And uh, today will be a fairly quick day, uh, depending on your questions. But we're going to talk about some new support menu options. Um, some account balances changes that were made in the recent update well today's update hi Larry and then I'll answer some questions and if we have time we may plan a trade or two so let's uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, first thing is if you open up Trader Vision you will see the notification here that you do in fact have a new version as of this afternoon or late morning or sometime uh, let me go ahead and start that download and then close the version and before I could even get it over pulled over here it had uh, done the the download for me already and I will then open that. And there we go. Download and installed in less than a minute. Open it up. And we go to help about. And you can see that we are now on 252.0.54.126. And I see that room 3 has a lag for me. That's interesting. Wow, I don't know what to do with Omnovia. Uh, as I mentioned last week, uh, we still have we have this new subscription management feature, which allows you to open up the website where you can manage your subscription. The other things that I wanted to show you here is we now have tools options. There is a support tab within the options. Um, where you can do several things here this is currently this button is currently not enabled but it will send us your log file and just simplify the process of getting support um, there are two things that are enabled here that I wanted to make you aware of one of them is recalculate your account balances you'll notice that it's marked that it is a slow process why would you need to do this if for any reason, some screwy reason, uh, your account balances are out of sync. The most likely reason would be that somehow you have entered a trade that is prior to the date an account was opened. By clicking this button, it will go through and recalculate all of your account balances over the course of all of your trades. So it is a slower process, but uh, it will uh, then make all of your account balances straight. The second thing here that you can do is clearing your price history what would that be good for well for example let's say that you uh, opened a trade and I don't know went away on vacation or didn't pay attention for a couple weeks and came back to find that there was a split in the stock um, prior to your noticing it and after you opened the trade and you need to go back and get the price history updated because it shows that you bought at $10 and then that stock became a $5 stock um, for a two for one split. Um, what you need to do is click that button. It will go back through and clear the price history for all of the tickers and re-grab the price history for all of the tickers of all the trades that you have entered and upgrade all those prices and of course recalculate all of the uh, the account calculations based on the new prices 
So that's a very slow process, very long process, but you can do that here if you would like to. And again, that's available from Tools, Options. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you about is that we have done some, uh, some cleanup, and this was something that Sherry had asked about, um, as well as possibly some others I can't recall. But we have made some changes here. We have switched around the labels so that they are now correct in Account Manager and it shows your stock positions as stocks and your cash position as cash. They were flipped before. Uh, we have also uh, reworked the calculations so that um, your account manager, your trade log, and your dashboard um, all will be updated uh, within a few seconds. So if I enter a transaction here um, in my to add add cash or withdraw cash um, to a trade, it will update in the trade log within a few seconds, a couple seconds. Uh, the same thing is true for uh, for your dashboard, and that is true for trade. So if I take an open trade. and I change the prices on it, it will reflect in so I bought this at 617 so the dashboard says, whoops, where are we going? Account Manager. Account Manager says I've got uh, 6091.60 in stocks and I go to this trade log and I say, well, I didn't buy 300 shares. I changed that. I only bought 299 shares. It has now changed the value of the stocks that I have available or have uh, held in stock. So that updates almost immediately. There you saw it took a couple seconds. So those uh, balance recalculations are now uh, reworked. They are not perfect. There are situations such as trades that are entered prior to the date of uh, an account was opened that causes issues um, and can cause very, very slow recalculations. But other than that, they are cleaned up and that should, should take care of some problems. So that goes as far as the uh, account balance changes. Let's talk about any questions that you might have. And after that, we'll get into planning some trades. I don't really have a lot planned other than that today. So if you've got questions, now's your time to ask them. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, one other thing that one of you might be asking or might be thinking about. Actually, he's not here. But uh, somebody, particularly on the Mac side, found a problem where they deactivated and then tried to reactivate several times real quickly and that caused their account. Uh, yes, you can change the date an account is open, Philippe. Um, and that is done in Account Manager. Uh, you go to, you know, pick the account you want to work with, click on the gear icon and you can change that date to some other date. Um, I would strongly, strongly urge you to consider if you're moving it forward, when were the date of your trades? You don't want to move this date like from January 29th to March 1st uh, if you had trades during the month of February. Um, but you can move it back there if you want. 
and that is now perfectly acceptable. Yeah, no, you can do that. You can do that. Um, I'm sorry, I was uh, talking about the user who found on the Mac side, at least, uh, deactivating their license and then reactivating and hitting reactivate four times because they, uh, within one minute, because they were not getting the response they expected to see quickly, um, that caused their license to be hosed. Uh, it just screwed up the license, and it's a problem on our server, and we are working to debug that now. Um, there is a solution that I just give you a new license, but that doesn't solve the long-term problem. So the short-term uh, thing that I want to point out is please don't deactivate your license and then immediately try to reactivate. Just, just wait for a while until we get that solved. Try to be patient. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, there may have been something else I was trying to do. I'm just a little bit tired and out of it this afternoon. I apologize. Okay, if there are no other questions right offhand, I will go ahead and we'll look at a couple trades. Let's uh, go ahead and go to TC2000, and this is a trade that I've been looking at. Let's go over here. So this is Pi Impinge, I guess, technology. And you can see that we've got this huge gap to fill. Uh, first potential resistance is about 18 bucks and then on up in here someplace you know, even if you said that is potential resistance that's still almost 20 bucks that's that's a big big run from here so what I'm looking for is a close above and then I'm going to be looking to buy someplace right in here and I'm going to be looking for a nice big run it's not going to be a straight run. It's going to go up in jags. Let's draw some lines here. So I expect price to go up like this and work its way up. And I'm going to be taking some profits before we get to 18. So let's just say that I want to put in um, a stop probably about about here, about 1385 or something like that, and I'm going to have a buy about 14, what, 50, and someplace just south of 18 is where my uh, stop's going to be. So let's plan that out. Okay, pie. Looks like it has earnings on the seventh. Uh, let's just do one exit on this, and I said about uh, fourteen fifty on an entry, about thirteen eighty five as a stop, and let's just say seventeen seventy five just to be pretty conservative. It says I can buy 192 shares and stay uh, at less than uh, $125 of risk. Let's try 150, see what that does for this account. Small amount. Hell, it's just going up to $200 or 200 shares then. It's only two and a quarter percent of this account. And let's sell all 200 at that first target. Getting 5 to 1, which is incredible. Um, more than making the trade goal of $350. So I'm risking 130 bucks to make 650 I'll take that every day of the week. And even at a 1775 price, which is well in advance of that $18 resistance line that I had put up there. This is a nice trade. And again, we've got the roundabout and breakout. We've got the J hook. We've got 
higher highs and higher lows working for us. Uh, we have the short-term biases on both the stock and the market. We just don't have the longer-term biases turned quite yet. So that's what we're looking at. Again, I'm waiting for that trigger entry. It's going to be uh, above 1450. And I will put a alert on this. And that's the trade I'll be looking to make. So that's a nice one. Let's see what else we can find here. Does anybody else have a ticker they want to plant? If they do, I will look at that for them. Otherwise, I will pick another one out of my list. I see Ken typing. Ken wants to look at Royal Caribbean. Let's get rid of this over here. Okay. Uh, I assume this is a long you're looking at. I personally probably would not be taking this trade because of this level here, just above, that kind of acted as support all through here and resistance back in there. Uh, plus the 50 and the 200 are, are close above. So that's, you know, like 3% up into the middle of those two and 1% probably. Yeah, one and a quarter up into this 120 area. Uh, but if we were to plan that out, let's just see what we can do. Where are we going to put our stop on this, Ken? One ten fifty. And you're looking to buy now, or are you looking to buy above? Where's your target entry here? Well, you finish typing, I'll drop in a couple of the lines. So your targets, you're buying on a pullback and your target's gonna be up in here about the 200. So let's say your buy is, uh, let's say it pulls back in here and, and holds 115. So let's call that 115 and a quarter. And we said 113 or 110.50 was a stop and probably something like 121, 122 is going to be your <clears throat> is going to be your uh, target. Let's see what that looks like. Royal Caribbean. Looks like it reports next week, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, with an entry of, let's call it 115 and a quarter. And you may be looking at this as an option trade too. Well, heck, let's say that's 122 as a target. For this particular account, to keep it with a very low loss, it's very few shares, but let's just say we're going to go 
with a hundred shares just for the grins. So it tells us the long terms are against us, the short terms are working for us. And uh, we've got some patterns working for us. For me, the problem is this, the reward to risk. It's just, even if we look past that 120, which I think could be resistance, and we get up to the 200, it's still one and a half to one. Now, if you're looking at this as an options trade, that could work. That, I mean, that it's the, the risk reward is completely different. But as a stock trade, I think, uh, for me, that 1.42 to 1 just doesn't get it done. And I would have to trade very large in order to, uh, uh, to get my $350 that I'm looking for per trade. So that's what I think about that. But, uh, you know, uh, different accounts and different trading styles all work. And so, you know, you may have different parameters and, and a different approach. Uh, you're more than welcome. Does anybody else have one they want to look at? If not, again, I'll pull one off of my list. See nobody typing, so let's just see what they've got. Okay, so we did have a couple as soon as I started that. Uh, FLT. Okay, well you can see that I think about 213 is potential resistance. Probably about there is where we're going to get support. Let's see what VSTOP says. VSTOP says even lower. VSTOP wants us to put our stop in here. right about there. So let's just say that we're going to do, there we go, that's what I needed. Uh, let's just use 205 round numbers uh, with a buy about 213.10. And uh, what's our target going to be? Do you have anything in mind, Philippe? Two thirty five, you say. Okay. Well, let's see how that plans out. Looks like they report on the seventh as well. Let's just say that we've got a uh, 213.10 buy and a 205, whoops, wrong place, 205 stop and a 235 target. Again, with this account, it's going to say a few shares at this price, but uh, let's just do 100 shares for the heck of it. It's going to get you your 2.7 to 1, um, which isn't bad. Again, 
as a stock trade, it's going to have to uh, trade very large, you know, $21,000 position um, with just a round lot of 100. But if you are happy with that or can swing it, then you certainly have the chance to make your profit there. I don't know if this has... Uh, Fleet Core does not sound familiar to me, and so I'm not sure it's going to have enough options volume to make it a viable options trade, but that's certainly worth looking at for a higher price stock. Yeah, you're looking at the options trade. Okay, yeah. Well, then this is not even going to be relevant. This, you know, with the leverage, 2.7 may be... 8, 9, 10 to 1 as the potential risk there. So that could well be worth your time. And as you know, unfortunately, Trade Vision is not options enabled just yet. Jay, you want to look at Chipotle? See, those are pretty good. So we run into this level and backed off today at 340. I think we've got another little level up here about 355. Again, this may be an options trade. I'm not sure if it is. Um, the numbers are going to be completely different. But let's just plan it out with that in mind. Let's say you're going to buy about there, whoops, buy about there, if this is your first target. What do you have in mind in terms of a stop? The V-stop says you're going to be down about way down here, and that's not going to work. You can see that's not going to be one to one there if that's in fact a number you're going to look at as potential resistance. But if you used, let's just say, something across here, across this high here, as potential support, so you could put your stop in here. Let's see what that looks like. This, so that's about a 331 stop and a 340 and a half buy. Ooh, it reports next week as well, 425. So 340, 50, let's just call it. And what did I say? About 331? Yeah. 331 stop. And a target about 355. Uh, okay, we're going to have to ignore that, so let's just say, this is interesting.
again as an options trade it might make it uh, but as a uh, as a stock trade it doesn't measure up for me because you know the reward to risk is less than two to one so unless you can look past <coughs> excuse me look past this level and say that's not going to be potential resistance and that's you know we've got a low in here we've got several highs there um, even if you look past that you've got to look at this level right in here about 362 c 363 but if you could look past that it might work Other than that, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't overly thrill me. You know, I think I can find better charts that I want to trade, certainly at a better price point. But that is your call to make. And that's what I would be looking at. So again, if you can get those numbers, you know, even if you got that up to 360, That would work for you if you could get up to 360. So that would work, but again, with options, it'll be a completely different story on the because of the leverage. Okay, anybody else have a ticker? No. Okay. Let me see what I've got here. Tidewater's working on a J hook. Had a golden cross down here. Yum broke out today. Micron was something we looked at in the room. Let's see if I can't find something I really like. Okay. Looking at some consolidation here after this little pop day. So it was a little 4% day, and now we're consolidating here along this support level. On a breakout here, I would be looking at a buy right at the top of the box. with a stop down here below the box and a first target up in here and a second target up in there so let's see what that looks like NCS Looks like we've got a ways. Should be like early June that it reports. So let's say the buy is going to be 18.35, and the stop is about 17.95. And the first target is up here about 1960. And the second target is up here about 21, what, 50, 60? It's 2160. So, what would that do for us? It says we can buy 312 shares. Let's just go 300. That's 4% of this account, but I can live with that. And let's see what happens if I sell 150 of them at that first stop or that first target. I would make my trade goal of 350. 
and then I can play with house money, if you will, with the other 150. So we're looking at at the first at the first uh, first target here. We're getting 3.121, and if I get both targets up here now I'm up to over five and a half to one and if we move this down you can see that I think those are you know that is certainly a realistic target and I think this one was came off of a weekly let's just try a weekly chart here yeah that one came off a weekly and I think that's reasonable so, going back to the daily, I think that's a pretty good plan there. Let me put it back and wait for screen to catch up. So, I think that's a, a pretty good plan. Um, looking for a break out of that consolidation box there. So, I guess that's it. One last thing is, if does anybody else have any questions? Otherwise, we'll get out a little bit early here, 40 minutes or so, 45. There's my, there we go. Okay, if there are no other questions, then I will just leave you with my contact information again. Uh, ed at TraderVision2020.com or support at TraderVision2020.com and of course within the application you can just click help support ticket and send me an email that way. If you need the download link for some reason uh, for the new version, let me copy that and paste that into the chat. And if anybody is new here and has not uh, purchased the application yet, you can get that here or through the website. Uh, oh, and one last thing I want to point out is, of course, help uh, tutorial videos is a useful link to have. And this is where I will, there is the uh, tutorial videos, which will show you all sorts of things about the application. And that's where today's session will be posted as soon as I get the video rendered, which will be later this evening. And yes, Calvin, there is the purchase link, I think. Yeah. So if that's, if that's it, we have no other questions. I want to thank you very much for coming, and everybody have a great evening. Those of you in the trading room, we'll see you tomorrow.